Alrighty, everybody, welcome to episode six of Epic Picture Time. Um, so today, this is gonna be a little bit different than normal. I'm actually gonna be taking Polaroids throughout the day, um, and I've already started the day off with getting some neat sunrise pictures. Um, so I'm gonna cut to those to show you what they kind of look like, and also the sunrise that I got with a cool time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy, and Stay tuned for more exciting pictures. Alrighty, everybody, now that we're all situated. So it is the day after we got back from Tybee Island and now it's time to go over the pictures on the favorites of the Polaroids that I was actually able to capture during our brief stay um, at the island. So unfortunately, I'm sure you guys saw the title before this that I wasn't really able to get any like good shots of me actually taking any pictures because it was just kind of like absolute chaos down there um there's just so many like different elements coming at me um such as like the sun the light and like it was just a very crazy time down there um but i'm gonna try my best to explain what went into the pictures when um i was taking them so out of all of the 16 Polaroids that I was able to capture, I was able to choose five favorites out of both decks of pictures. So not in particular order, this first one um, was under the pier at Tyvee Island. The second one was my favorite sunrise one um, when I went to go actually get up early for the sunrise, because that's what you do when you get pictures of the sunrise, you have to get up early, right? This third one actually is, I actually didn't take that picture, it was my mom who took this, this picture is of me on the beach. <laughs> this fourth one is of the pier. Um, so I was actually on the beach taking this picture. Um, I was able to actually get the, the pier in it. And it was the correct time of day to actually get everything properly exposed because <laughs> during the day um, it's really bright out. And then this last one is of my mom. I was actually able to get this picture properly exposed as well because we were actually both sitting under two umbrellas, which was blocking out the sun. <laughs> so with the Polaroid, it is really hard to actually take pictures during broad daylight since that's how it gets most of its light in is through broad daylight. But there's only two basic exposure settings on the Polaroid. It's either really light or really dark. And in the middle. So in the middle is usually one that you're in shade and there's clouds out and it's not really bright out and then the really bright one is when you're in dark conditions because then you'll be able to let in more light and then the dark one is to let in less light um, so you can be able to pick and choose how your pictures are exposed. Um, so I didn't really have as much dynamic range and um, ability to choose the perfect exposure for that because with that you're kind of just hoping for the best um, to see how the pictures turned out. And I'm actually really proud of some of the pictures that turned out because they look really cool. Um, 
they kind of give off the dated vibe of the Polaroid. Because since Polaroids aren't really mainstream anymore, um, so the film has to be kind of special ordered, um, which, which is actually surprising because you can get Polaroid film at Best Buy and um, Barnes & Noble actually, but those are the only two places that I've actually been able to find the actual Polaroid 600 film. But I really like the colors and the exposure of each picture. Um, it gives it a really good color contrast with everything and you can, can't really tell when the pictures were taken because of the colors and everything. So. That wraps up this week's episode. I know it's really short and um, concise than the normal length. Um, I will try my best to get more footage of me actually taking the pictures next time. And um, as always, guys, be kind to one another. Always be creating. And I'll see you guys in the next one.